friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Krista from Hebert Stone Home. My hair is a little longer since this whole pandemic thing started. I have not been to my hairstylist. I think I go Saturday, so that'll be good. I have let the gray come in and I am wearing headbands. Headbands are my thing and Corona hair, I don't care. That's just how I'm going and rolling with it these days. I actually am kind of liking a little bit longer hair. You guys are probably used to my really short hair, um, but we're gonna just go with it. Actually, when I go get my hair cut, I think I'm just gonna have her like shape it up and make it work. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, today I wanted to just kind of chat with you guys. And actually I'm going to do at least three back porch chats with you in the morning. And they are all gonna be about our larger than average family surviving the pandemic emotionally surviving the pandemic. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna just share some thoughts with you each day and we'll just see how it goes. They're gonna be kind of shorter videos, but I thought, you know what? I don't have a lot of time, you don't have a lot of time, so this is what we're gonna do this week. We're gonna give it a try. If you like this format, like just having these chats throughout the week, um, little short videos, if there are ideas that you have, please put them down in the comments below. Are there things that you wanna chat about? Or if you have thoughts about how you guys are surviving, I would love to hear those as well because I we can always learn from each other and encourage each other and I love that. That's what I like about this community. I have missed you guys and I'm glad to be on here this week to do some back porch chats. I wanna say front porch chats, but this is my back porch and it looks out into our beautiful pasture um, maybe I should just show you hold on so this is my back deck and this is what I'm looking out on sometimes some deer will run through sometimes the clouds are really beautiful I have my hot protein um, shake out here and my pens from my Jesus time and you know we're just hanging out and listening to the birds and talking to you guys so just a little bit of background on our family. Got a whole lot of new viewers and I just wanna say welcome. Thank you for being here. So for those of you who are not familiar with our family, um, we are a family of 10. Um, actually right now we're a family of nine. We're typically a family of 10. We have um, four biological children, two adopted children, and then we typically have foster children in and out of our home and we often have two. Right now we only have one. Our large family is such a blessing. We love having foster children. Um, we love just the fun and the chaos that a big family brings. Um, but during this time with the pandemic, it has presented itself with some challenges. And so I thought that we would just talk this week a little bit about that. Now, I wanna also tell you that we have, because we have adopted and foster children, we have a lot of experience with trauma that just naturally comes along with it. Um, we have a lot of therapy under our belts, a lot and lot, lot of years of therapy um, as we've been working through trauma with our kids from hard places. And when um, you have a child in your home who has been through trauma, um, the whole family joins them in that healing process. It's just how it is. We all sort of become broken and we all heal together. So I've talked about that in some other videos, but I just wanted to mention that here, that that is where the place that I am coming from as I share um, about how some, some things that we're doing to get through this time, I feel like I see a lot of similarities in what we do with our kids with trauma um, and our family, how we handle our family because of the trauma, and then also how we're handling the pandemic because of the trauma that it brings. So the first thought is actually a thought that comes from our therapist. Um, it's one of my favorites. I had an aha moment one day when I was sitting with her and talking about how to help a child get through a chaotic and traumatic time as in their healing process 
and with our family as we healed all together. Um, and you know, she made the point, as I was saying, it's hard to make a decision and stick with it. Like, it feels like things are right. Uh, one thing is right at one time and one thing is right at another. And she really talked about and encouraged me by saying every decision is a for now decision. We have the right to change our minds. As we learn new information, as things change, whether it be in our family, in our world, in our state, in our county, um, as we think about the pandemic, as things change, we have to be willing to change with it. Just because we made a decision doesn't mean it has to stick permanently. We need to make a for now decision based on what we know now. That may change, we may do things differently in the future, and it's okay to say to our kids or to our spouse, I changed my mind. I think we need to do things differently. Um, I like to be someone who like sticks with it, right? Like I made a decision, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna stick to it. Um, but in the season, that just doesn't work. And we have found that in our family as well. That just doesn't always work. And it's okay to go back and sometimes we say, I made a mistake, um, I changed my mind or that decision no longer makes sense for the circumstances of today. And so we just have to be flexible with our decision making. So that is the first one for today that I wanted to share with you is every decision is a for now decision. Be ready to be flexible and it's okay. And when we kind of come into decisions with that mindset, takes the pressure down, right? Like it's not so much pressure, like I have to make this decision, I have to stick with it forever, this is how it's gonna be. When we say, okay, I'm gonna make the best for now decision I can make, it may have to change, then we can be a lot more flexible, then it can be a lot easier on us. So, every decision is a for now decision. I hope that was helpful to you today, I enjoyed chatting with you. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below and we will see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.